Did you understand or I should explain more? I oh, will... I, I understood the concept. Thank you. Oh, okay. I just wanted to draw something <laughs> to explain. Okay, if you got it. Uh, corporate is actually a good option to avoid uh, and to protect your property, actually. Uh, actually, it depends on your countries. I mean, your government actions as well. Uh, but uh, to avoid, for example, in divorces, uh, for example, and uh, if you want to to like uh, have a less liability, corporation is the best option. It's a big story. I don't know whether you studied. You you third class, right? Of I forgot. You you third class. I mean, you second like. Uh, or your fourth grade, or your second uh, second year or third year students. I said I I think third year students, right? Um, we're second year actually. Uh, uh, second year. Okay. Oh, your second year. I forgot. But you you studied company law, right? I mean in Vietnam. I mean enterprise yes. law. Um, You know, why company law, I mean, corporation is the best option to avoid liability is uh, if you know corporate law well, you can solve any problem you have in life. I mean, in running business. I will show some examples uh, uh, in my country, how it works. I, th I think it's the same in your country because concept is the same. You have share, I mean portion. Uh, share, you know, right? What share means, share. You have share in charter capital. I think in your country, in case of divorce, husband and the wife, they uh, doing 50-50 of portion, right? <laughs> During marriage, if you want to sell share, do you obtain permission from your husband or wife? I mean, in your country, how it works. How it works in your country when you want to sell uh, prop? If you want to sell your share, do you obtain permission from your husband or wife? Do you know? Uh, we haven't learned family law yet, so we're not entirely sure. You haven't learned comp, comp, this this matter, right? Yeah, yeah, um, no. You should ask your like uh, teachers, but I think is a problem in your country also. Well, well in uh, in Vietnamese law, we have the <coughs> family marriage and uh, family law and uh, I, I I just saw that when 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 uh, when the spouse when when spouses is divorced the on, on, only 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 the cases of divorce the the asset is uh, the asset <coughs> is separated 50 15 but when but when they use for some a um, mutual mutual plan they they just they just uh talk in uh, oral oral contract 
Mm. When we talk about, uh, in, I mean, in ne next classes, when we talk about transfer of share, we will talk, we will uh, study in detail this matter. Um, problem is, what is share actually? It's a big problem. Share is like uh, separate property or something kind of right. So it's like right or obligation or it's property. What's the share actually? So we'll talk later in our classes. Just remember, it's a big issue in corporate law. What is a share is actually is. Um, without understanding the nature of share, corporate law will always suffer. For example, the simple problem issue is, for example, your husband, you own, um, you, you hold some shares in some company. It doesn't matter. For example, you sold your share. After one year, you and your wife divorcing. Your wife says, okay, guys, you conducted contract without my permission. It's our common property. Why you, you sold share without my permission? It's my share actually too. And she's saying, she coming, applying complaint to court to acknowledge such deal as a null. I mean, to confirm that this, this deal is not concluded actually. It's illegal deal. And uh, in many systems, I, I think your country is same. You, it's a big problem anyway. You, they can, they can uh, confirm that uh, deal was illegal. So, when you regulate corporate law and uh, making rules, most important which concept you take. That's why I'm talking a lot about concept series. I'm not talking about now. I'm not talking about uh, actual rules. Rules is just rules. Is uh, rules can be changed when you write, but most important, which concept you take in writing rules. Uh, so that's why I'm paying more attention on. Doctrines. Um, I was talking about the corporation is the best to avoid liability. So you can use corporation to do everything what you want. For example, you have, for example, land, building. If it belongs to corporation, it's easy to you to sell it, actually. It's easier if you write in good manner, I mean, in with highly qualified lawyers, your company documents, it will be easier to you to run business and sell your property, obtain property, and... Uh, without fear that in future you may divorce, for example, or your creditors will claim um, to your property, your private property. So you will see it, how it works, I hope. And we will study more about it, but you now you just remember that corporation is the best option to avoid liability.
Okay, the sec next uh, feature of corporation is a uh, <clears throat> company law, I mean, mandatory rules by law. And gap filling role of corporation law or company law doesn't matter. What it means? If you're taking back, if you're moving back to like 18th century or 19th century, company law was not regulated well. The problem is we didn't know at that time what company law is actually is. What company law actually is. We corporate rules regulated by agreement at the time. But step by step, government started started taking position with more influence to company law. So government started adopting more mandatory rules to company. The main way, the single way to influence is the law. Government doesn't have any other options to influence to the company, right? The main option is the law. Problem is, what's the balance between law and contract? In the past, contract was higher, law was less. And step by step, I mean, contract regulated less, mandatory rules regulated more. Problem, uh, why it happened? Answer is easy, to protect government, and to protect creditors. That's all. That's why we need such rules. But mandatory rules cannot be full anyway. It never can be can can be full. I mean they cannot regulate all kind of relations. They cannot. It's impossible. That's why. Mandatory rules always leaving some gaps, gap, gaps, which should be regulated by contract between shareholders. That's why uh, we have a theory of gap filling. What you can see on a screen right now, we call it gap filling. The government giving some options to work. For example, you can choose option one, you can choose option two, you can choose option three. It doesn't matter. Just government giving you options. First, second, third. But shareholders by contract should apply first, second, or third option is how corporate law exists. I think it's clear, right? If you have a question, please ask. Okay, I'm, uh, I go first. Uh, charter, what does charter means? I don't know how you call in your company charter or company rules um, you can call it company rules or article of association it doesn't matter Do, i think you have right in your country how you call in your country uh, we call the company charter Okay, I see. Okay, I will write here, company charter. So charter, what it, what actually is, is a contract or statute? The problem is, 
is also discussable discussing point many scholars cannot accept any statement they don't have single statement some scholars saying charter is a contract actually but some scholars saying charter cannot be contract because you're not free in concluding charter you obliged you must to conclude charter basing on mandatory rules so charter is kind of the the last part of mandatory rules so you have mandatory rules mandatory rules mandatory rules and the contract is kind of the last mandatory rule which concluded basing on first three parties parts i hope you got it if you don't say please stop me and ask what is contract is actually contract is freedom you can write anything you want uh, you can take any obligations that you want right uh, basing on minimal minimal requirements in civil law i mean in contract is is actually is a different area but in contract law the for example english in english concept is you're free of concluding any kind of contract any kind of contract you're free to you can for example um, non-competition rules you can ad adopt in your contract for example your partner cannot cannot work or sell goods to your to your competitors i mean your rivals in our case in my country i think the same in your country in german systems we don't have such rules if you adopt such rules uh, it means that uh, you uh, you breaking the constitutional rights of uh, individuals to run business so it's most important where there is a edge i mean the end where the borders of freedom the, is big issue from arising from Com co contract law but it affect to corporate law as well so in my point uh, in my point what i'm what i think that uh, charter is a is a continuous of mandatory rules actually is the last part of mandatory rules because you you're not free to adopt such any to adopt any rules you obliged you must adopt the way the government it indicated option one option two option three it's uh, so if you take concept of contract it means that you can use all principles of contract law if you use a mandatory rules concept it means you can apply any mandatory rules to contract so we will talk about it later but most important what what i want uh, you to think and uh, remember at this time the charter whether it's contract or statute is the most important part. Summarizing this part is in German systems, charter is statute. In English system, is uh, charter is contract. <clears throat> Ownership. Ownership is the most outstanding part. We will talk about later when we talk about shares. Uh, 
ownership is giving you, granting you the opportunity, right, to control and to obtain earnings. I mean, profit. So you have two parts, control and obtaining earnings. At the same time, you have obligations, responsibilities. So ownership, what is is actually, it will be discussed later. So many scholars say that share is one kind of property. Please open your civil code after and if you if you know, please answer. In your country, share is a property or it's something like a complex of rights and obligations. I mean, or so share is a property or rights in your country. So most important is basing on this basing on application of two first or second concept your shares concept also changes so we should set a label on share share is a property or share is the rights what do you think I think you got me. I will chat to for clear understanding. Share. Uh, share is a property or rights. You can uh, search it later. If you know answer, you can tell me. Okay, I will continue. Um, the next one delegated management with board structure so in corporation we should have a management board what it means we have top uh, management board uh, members I mean shareholders meeting right shareholders is on the top the next one can be supervisors supervisory board the last the lowest tire is uh, uh, actual managers board i mean director etc so delegated management is necessary to cooperation I explained actually, I, I remember I explained why we have management board in corporation. I mean, evolution. Uh, in partnership, we don't have delegated management because the concept of partnership that members of partnership, they are managers at the same time simultaneously. But in case of corporate company, your members cannot be at the same time managers. Why it happened? It's easier answer because of concept was different. As you remember, in society, when you have ten persons, is easy to run business, right? So each member can say a lot, can say this their thoughts. And their thoughts will be the uh, deciding point. But in case of your company consists of 400, 100 persons, your thoughts cannot be reflected on company decisions. So you need special management board to run and to apply your thoughts. For example, we have 20 persons right now in our meeting. 
Uh, okay, 20, right? How many we have? Ah, 19. We have 19 persons right now in our class. For example, I'm asking you to go to cinema together. Can we decide easily? I think it's, it's impossible to decide easily. For example, some students say, sorry, I'm busy tomorrow. Sorry, I don't have money. Sorry, I should take care of my brother. Sorry, I'm not interested in cinema. Someone can say, sorry, I, can, I cannot go late in the evening. Someone can say, I'm busy in the afternoon. So 20 persons, it's already 20 persons right now. So 20 persons have a 20 different ideas to anything against any, any matter. It's impossible to have a single view of 20 person to make you to have a single decision. It's really complicated. In, the, in such case, to run business, you should have good management system. It's the most important in corporations that your management system doing well. If your company, if your corp management system is not well, it's not good, your company will be ruined, destroyed. You will be divided in small, small companies. What actually is happening in any companies, what we have? Only specific companies surviving with, uh, with uh, hundreds of members. Okay. Is everything clear? Okay. If you have question, you can ask me. The next more imp most impor important point uh, of corporation is the open or public corporations. Open corporation, it means the shares or stocks can be sold and um, received easily. That's why we call it open corporations. Sometimes we call it non-listed corporations. And we have public corporations. Ah, oh, sorry. I I I I had a oh, I I'm missing one part and close corporation. Close corporation is uh, um, it means stocks and shares of such corporation cannot be sold easily without permission of the members. Why it happened, I actually explained before. If you don't remember, please ask. I will uh, repeat it again. I will repeat it if you don't remember why it happened and how it happened. Okay. Uh, incorporation theory. Uh, yeah, it's important part. In your country, I think you adopt incorporation theory. Uh, this theory, this theory uh, adopted by U.S. lawmakers. What it means? Uh, to regulate company rules which law we should apply so us says that if your company registered in new york new york state that means that new york rules new york law must be applied to such company that's all what it means. The second theory is real seed theory.
by German German system from German law, it means that we should apply the law adopted in a place where the main principal management board exists. Did you get it? For example, you registered in Vietnam, but the main, but the main office and the, in Hong Kong, for example. In real seat theory, Hong Kong rules must be applied to such company. What do you think? Is it fair or not fair? Uh, the problem is if you accept uh, real seat theory, that means shareholders will apply the company rules which beneficial to them. And the same with incorporation theory, theory as well, actually. But in case of incorporation theory, it will be harder for them. For example, they are running business in New York and main place is New York. And uh, for them, it's better to run business in New York and they better to register their business in New York in this case. The scholars saying that in case of real seed theory, the law which providing better better protection for shareholders will be more applicable. So I think your company, uh, I mean uh, Vietnam, uh, adopting. Uh, incorporation here, right? Because of registration. Uh, registration place is uh, uh, is the main law. Do you have questions? I'm finishing with the second lecture actually right now. And I am need to move. Do you have questions? If you don't have, let's go. By the way, what time you starting class in school? Uh, you mean our next class? Yeah, yeah. what time your class starting in the university, usually? Uh, usually uh, 6.40 a.m. Um, 6.40. Six forty AM, right? Yes. Um, six forty, usually six forty. In my country, we start in class for at eight thirty. Six thirty because of weather, because of too hot. No, it's just, um, I guess, a cultural thing. Uh, culture. Mm. I remember that in Vietnam, it was too hot in April. May, May, April was too hot. And I thought that maybe because of weather, you start your class is starting too early. 
its culture. But I remember that in uh, in parks, a lot of people going to train in the morning, and they drink uh, coffee, cold coffee. I remember with ice, <laughs> coffee with ice, right? Maybe it's culture. Yeah, you're right. Uh, let's continue. Dark. The third lecture is uh, corporation forms, actually. Uh, dark. Let's start with partnerships. Partnerships, partnerships. You know, in France we call it societas. I don't. I don't know French law, a uh, French language. Uh, anyone in our group who speaks uh, French, we have someone. So in France they call it societes. I, I can maybe my spelling is not correct. In France is interesting that everything they call societes. Societas or something like that. So what it means? So society. Societas is society. So, uh, for example, limited liability company is kind of limited liability society. Uh, joint stock company is same. It's joint stock society. Partnership same. General partnership is like general society. So everything is society. For example, in Kazakhstan. They uh, adopting the French terms. Uh, same in my country, we doing the term societas. So LLC in my country, we call it such society of limited liability. <laughs> Sorry. In my country, we using term societas. What about your country? How you you call in Vietnamese uh, language? Uh, I mean, if you're doing a direct translation, how you call LLC in your country? Do you use term societas or you using term enterprise? Which term you use? Oh, you mean like direct translation yeah, of direct. the term LLC? Yes, yes, direct. It's basically just LLC, limited liability company. No. I think in Vietnamese language, LLC, LLC, I mean, in my country also we call it LLC. We don't say uh, societas, but because LLC is a common and a well used term, but if you're doing direct understanding and translation, I think you don't using term company. Uh, I mean, in definition, LLC in Vietnamese language. I will check it right now. Uh, by the way, it's it's again will be switched off in one minute, so you should enter again. Yes, please. Someone want to talk, say something? LLC in Vietnamese. I don't know Vietnam. 